Hey designer, Alex here, welcome to the channel and in today's video we are going to create these website hover sections in Adobe XD. So here we have this button, so when I hover this arrow pops in, this gradient fills in this left part of the button and of, because we have this outline on the button itself, it's going to fade out a little bit. Then on the right hand side we have these four sections, so for the four services for example, so when I hover you can see that the image pops in from behind, this bottom text disappears, learn more appears and on learn more itself we have this hover effect for the arrow itself. So let's get started. Alright, so here's the practice file for today's tutorial. If you want to get this practice file, make sure to join my membership. Link is going to be down in the description below. Membership includes all of my courses, digital design products, private access to the Facebook group, practice files for these YouTube videos just like this one and so much more. So if you're interested in content like that, make sure to check it out once again. Link is going to be down in the description below. Now let's get started with this. As you can see, we have just three different colors. We have um, text gradient, background gradient, and white, because those are all the colors which I used for this particular example. We have character styles, which are Proxima Nova, which is Adobe font. You can get it at Adobe fonts. And of course, we have all of these different components. So to get started, first of all, this is a 1920 by 1080 artboard, and this is the background. So this gradient is um, for the background. And if I click right here, you can see that we have the logo, which is just a regular text logo. Then we have this text section and we have these lines uh, right here. So these are these white lines for these divisions. And of course, we have four different uh, categories as four separate components and each of them have default and hover state. I'll walk you through everything. So let's get started with the text itself. So if I zoom in just a little bit here, we have um, this main text right here. And then we have this layer called text. It's just just a text layer but converted into paths for me to be able to add this gradient color to it. So if I click right here and try to change the color of the text itself, you can see that I can just change the overall color. I don't have the option to add a gradient at the moment in Adobe XD, but hopefully the team at XD is going to add that uh, as a future update. But what I, you can do in this case is control D to duplicate the layer in question. In my case, it's this uh, therefore potential. Then you can go to object down to pot and convert to pot or you can use control and eight or command and eight on a Mac as a shortcut to do just that. And then once you do, let me delete this one. Once you do and converted it, then you can click right here and then you can add all sorts of different gradients. So what I did is I just apply this gradient, which I just show you right here, which is called text gradient. Below that we have just a regular text and then we have the button with hover state. So let me quickly show you how the button works. We have button background. So when I click right here, you can see it's exactly the same gradient, but it's empty right here. It's not completely empty. It has the gradient itself, but at this default state, the gradient color uh, left, which is this color right, right here, it's at 0% middle color, it's this color right here is at 0% and this right color is at 100%. Once again, it's this gradient right here. I use the same gradient for all of them. Then we have the mask, which is text mask, basically the shape of this button. And I just created a mask around my icon icon. And we have a um, arrow right here, just moved to the side, which is masked. And finally, we have the text itself. And uh, one thing I forgot to mention is button has a border, just pure white border at 100% opacity. And when I switch to hover, let me show you what happened now. So now our border is at 40%, so still white. And for the button color, what we have is I brought these colors back, but they are now 20%, 20%, and this is still at 100%. I did this just for the animation's sake, so it's not just popping into place, it's sort of fading nicely and transitioning nicely. Then I simply moved this text 40 pixels to the left and brought my arrow back into my button. So basically when you hover, let me quickly show you how that looks like. When you hover, you can see that the arrow is popping into place gradient is filling in and the uh, border of the button is going to slightly um, lower down in opacity to 40%. Then let's quickly switch to these sections. You can create these sections in variety of different ways. You can use um, grids. So you can simply grab a grid line, 
positioning it to place where you want it to or you can do what I did is simply divide this so I know this is 1080 so 1080 like this snap it to the top like this and then you can simply play around with the positioning so if you want this to be for example 40 uh, 40 this is to be 60 percent or the other way around like in this case this is maybe 40 45 percent width and this is 60 percent so if it is let me see like so then you can simply hit ctrl d to duplicate it and then position this in the center it's going to snap into place like this and then move this in the center it's going to snap into place then select the original one hit delete and then you have your section you can name your section however you want in my case branding graphic design social media and website so in this case what you can do is simply group it and then put all of your layers in this particular group that's what i did for all of these sections now let's go for one of them let me show you how it works and then you get the sense because all of them are exactly the same so for each section we have default state and we have the hover state so let's open up this branding you can see we have the branding text right here go beyond possible right here then we have the mask and branding background in this case branding background is actually an image with zero percent opacity so if i bring it back to 100 percent you can see how it looks like i chose zero percent for this case because i wanted to bring it back to hover state uh, to visible to to view then we have mask above that basically we just have this learn more with the arrow right here and we have the mask on top of it and learn more is actually a component so if i click right here to edit the master component you can see that we have the default state here and we have the hover state here so you can clearly see that the difference is just the arrow moving 20 pixels to the right on hover state so it's just bringing in that visual interest a little bit to our uh, hover state so basically that's it for the mask and that's it for the default state inside of the hover state what happened is this text go beyond possible went right here to the top and i lowered down the opacity so let me show you it's this one so it's right here and i lower down the opacity to zero percent as you can see right here then i simply unmasked my learn more brought it into place and into exactly the same position of go beyond possible where it was in the default state so i just where this is i just placed the learn more right here and then moved go beyond possible and reduce the opacity then what i did for the image is i brought the image down to 40 percent so not all the way up to 100 percent why because if i do so you cannot really see the text then you have to change the text colors you have to bring in some kind of a gradient but it's much simpler to do something like this because our background is already uh, this dark uh, gradient background so it's going to look quite nicely with this white color uh, for the text on top of it so once again 40 percent for the opacity of our image mask is there as i said and basically that's it that's all you need to do now if you don't like this transition so you can see when i change between transitions for all of my sections there is a bit of a delay uh, you don't need this delay you can simply go right here into the prototype and then you can see we have hover state and duration you can go for much shorter duration so for example 0.2 or 0.1 seconds even and then uh, this is not going to be that visible it's basically going to be almost immediate when you transition from let's say website to branding it's going to almost be immediate and not have this delay but in my case i like to have this delay because if by accident my users go right to here then they can go back to here or to here and see what they actually did if it's too fast it might get confusing for them but in this way it's much simpler for them to figure it out where they are what they want to do and if they want to right here to click to learn more so basically that's it for today's tutorial i really hope you liked it and once again if you want to get this practice file it's going to be in my membership link down below thank you so much for watching this video make sure to subscribe if you haven't already because i upload new videos every single week about adobe xd passive income techniques design and so much more so if you're interested in content like that make sure to subscribe thank you so much for watching and until next time take care